It is honor and privilege to show you how to use every webinar and lead pages together. The workaround integration by yours truly, Marek Wawrzyniak of IWW Digital Agency. Why this video? Well, for simple reason. Every webinar is a great product. Lead pages is a great product. And there is no native integration between the two. The workaround in place and on the instruction page is rather confusing. Therefore, I decided to create this uh, simple seven step sequence that shows how it is done, as well as the actual screen um, grab of the steps necessary. Uh, lead pages provide great landing page for registrations and webinar, every webinar uh, integrates the thank you page that gives people some tools like calendar tools to add to the calendar of their choosing the webinar they register for. So this integration will need four areas, four elements, obviously every webinar, software, lead pages software, FTP access to your own website hosting, and a text editor, which you will edit the HTML page. You start with creating an empty HTML page. Um, this sequence map includes sub points, which I will not read at the moment. This is later for your references. You can rewind this video and go back here if you need references because all the sub points will be shown in detail by the video share of my screen in just a moment. The second step is you uh, copy the full path URL and this will be the URL of your registration page for the webinar that you will give to your uh, webinar um, users, visitors. So you may want to grab that and copy into your computer's clipboard after you upload it to your web server. So obviously it will be your website slash the name of your webinar that people are registering for. In the Weber, in the Ever Webinar, you will create your webinar, go through all the steps. I will just point out here that in the registration section, that's where you will paste the full path of that um, empty, still empty HTML page that you get from step two above. Then in the lead pages, obviously, you create your um, uh, page, your lead page, or how you want it. At the end, to publish it, you will export. You do the full HTML export. Uh, when you get the HTML file, you will rename that file you, you grab from lead pages, and it's going to be the same name as you created the empty HTML in step one. This is very critical and important to do so that ever webinar will go to the right place. Uh, then you will edit that file you get from lead pages. And here we'll just add the, the button code from every webinar. Okay. After we edit the um, lead page HTML with the every webinar button, you upload it again into the same file you had created in step number one, and you are done. So the end result will be a full URL of your own website dot com or whatever slash whatever that file will be on your server all right so at this point you will see my desktop as our sequence map told us number one we do is we create an empty html page you notice i created an empty html page and i named it how to sell a bridge.html um, I used Mac Text Wrangler, or you can use any text editor on the Windows machine. People usually use Notepad or there are some other great text editors. Make sure you save it as just a pure text. And that's what obviously HTML page is, just a text file with an HTML extension. I saved it on my um, downloads folder. Then the next step is we want to upload this file to my web server. You will see uh, this is my web server mm, using uh, <clears throat> FTP client called FileZilla. And on the left side, I have my downloads. This is where I saved my empty HTML. 
and on this side this is where my remote website server is make sure you go to the public html where your web server is configured to show your website and then off of your main website root directory which is public html typically you can put it wherever you want it if you want it in the root you just put it in public html for the demonstration purposes i want to put it in slash dev dev so just go ahead and we'll transfer this file over got transferred over then the next step is to go and grab the url for this file okay so i will go to my um uh, my uh, website in the browser i'm just going to copy this file name but you can just type it in as well and so my website url a path is up iww.ag that's the home page and i decided to put this particular page under dev so here i'll just paste what i copied in my clipboard and i hit enter to verify and yes indeed we have no errors just a blank page that is our path so at this point i want to copy this path in my computer uh, clipboard then the next step is to go to the ever webinar software and i already have one ready here i created a uh, webinar called how to use ever webinar with lead pages and so as you create this um, you want to uh, edit it if you have one created you can edit it obviously and we want to get to the registration point which is step three okay and i wish i could just click on it and get there but unfortunately you can't so this is a little bit clunky well, that's all right just hit step step and there we go registration page and process okay you want to edit this and here you want to choose your own design on your own website in the step prior and then you want to do edit this template okay there we go on the step uh, prior we copied the url we just uploaded so this is where you want to paste it and then leave the default because we are only asking for first name and email address we'll confirm it and then just go all the way to the end to save this and uh, right and at the very end go live when you hit go live okay you will be shown a embed code okay so this is the registration button that will go on your website so we want to go here and just copy all of this. All right, so let me copy all of it. All right, and we will need this code in just, just a moment. All right, we are done here. Um, the next step, according to our sequence map, is to go to lead pages. All right, I have my instance of lead pages, and I created a lead page called Ever Webinar Registration Page. Okay, obviously you can edit, you can make it look however you want it. I just wanna show you how this one looks. Um, th at this point, the registration button is really irrelevant, you know, as long as you just, um, you know, do whatever lead pages tells you to do so you're able to publish it. All right, so now let's say we're ready to publish it. And I just wanna let you know that we will be replacing this button and this button, okay, but not here. We need to publish it and export it all right at this point you want to choose your own server and here you want to choose export full html source obviously this is not uh, recommended by lead pages because you're on your own so to speak you obviously have to say yep i understand it download it and there you go so you notice that this was downloaded down here and obviously on my computer it probably went into my um, downloads folder which I will put over here and so what you will see is um, you'll see how uh, you have two files now so now is the one that we created in step one and this is the actual file from ever um, webinar uh, lead page that you created on lead pages okay so what we want to do is we want to edit this page in the text editor 
um, but first before we do it we want to rename it we want to rename this page that came from lead page to our original page okay so this is the file name that we want to end up on but this is our empty one so I'm gonna rename this just call it something maybe like you know original you can actually delete this one because we really don't need it and then it's just an empty file and you go rename this one that came from uh, lead pages to the original name that we had how to sell a bridge HTML okay just to reduce the confusion I am going to delete this because we really don't need that this is the one that was empty all right so now we want to edit this file in our text editor okay my editor of choice is text wrangler great so at this point what you want to do is we want to um, look for a um, a button the button that typically um, obviously lead pages give you which is you know hey this is one claim my spot right that was the button and there was another one towards the bottom which also showed something about yes claim my spot and it's right here all right so let's go back to the first instance you also notice that my text editor does not wrap line breaks so just for uh, clarity I will turn on the line break break wrap so that you can see all the code all right so now let's go look for our button that we'll need to replace and as you remember in the previous um section okay in the previous section we um copied the code from um uh, ever webinar okay so here this line we will be deleting in a pretty soon but first i want to just create a new line and paste what we had before which obviously it's gone because i just created i copied the file name okay so that's fine if i want to go back and recopy that all i have to do is just go back to my ever webinar okay obviously let's get rid of this window and something is going on with my browser all right let's go back to ever webinar and you know the way you get that thing is by going live and copying the embed button right here so copy that there we go so here's the link then let's go back to my text editor now i can just paste this here okay so what happened at this point is we'll have two buttons on top if i just save this we'll have original button that came from lead pages and then we'll have the evernote button that came from not evernote ever webinar all right so then let's also look for the second instance of this button and i believe it's down here right right here so let's make sure we stay within the you know the container code which is either a paragraph or a div um all right and so i want to just paste the same code and so if i save this i'll have to um, still get rid of this all right um so you can just at this point just delete this or you can comment that out okay the way how i like to comment stuff out it's an html code little trick just in front of the a put those things with a space and then at the end of the a just put two of those dashes and then you see this turn gray that means this is just a comment it's there if you need it but hopefully you will not have to need it then do the same thing for the first to the first one uh the first one button which is this one right here all right so it's this this and at the end this space those two there you go all right so we'll save it <clears throat> and this is the same url how to sell a bridge so we saved it we added the those two buttons now let's go over to our ftp all right and here is the file that we were editing just to make sure yes it is we are still logged into our server where we want it to be 
and the good test will be that if you copy this over you the, your server should prompt you if you want to overwrite it and that means that you got the right file and it's going to be the right url because you already told evernote that this is the url you want so yes we would like to overwrite it all right done now just test it once again um, so you go and open this page so remember this is we did this test in i think step one or two just refresh it and now we should be able to see the actual registration page there it is um, this actually is the lead page that i created in lead pages and this is our register now button that came from ever webinar as well as this one here on the bottom so now I can just click on it and what happens is the code is triggering a registration button from ever webinar all right so here you select your dates where you want it all right so let's say I want to do it here mm, this point this time here's my information so the cool thing about this integration is when I hit register the thank you page will come natively from ever webinar Okay, there it is. See, so came from Ever Webinar, which is Webinar Jam, guys. <clears throat> and here's the link to the actual ev webinar that I have registered, which at this point I can add it to my Outlook calendar or my Google calendar, which I find is extremely helpful because that helps people to, you know, actually watch your webinar. All right, so this actually concludes our um, uh, demo of the integration. Um, if you have any needs, any help, any questions, um, ping me, shoot me an email, shoot me a note, uh, you can comment under the video and, um, yeah, see, let's see if we can help each other. Thanks for watching. Again, it's been privilege, honor and privilege to show you this today.